introduce him as the current host of The Tonight Show. Here he is. Take it away, Jimmy. Oh, hey there. You made it. Welcome to the Universal Studio Tour. I'm Jimmy Fallon. I'll be making sure you get through this experience in one piece. You've got the very best guide. Kitty. And the greatest driver. Yolanda. They're the best. I love them. Even though Kitty. owes me five bucks. What? I know you guys are excited to get on the tour, but first, a few safety rules. That's right. We do have a few safety rules to go over. All the vehicles in motion, please try to remain seated at all times. Also, make sure you keep those arms and legs inside the vehicle. You may notice that we've got a red emergency cord that runs throughout the center of the tram. So if you do have a medical emergency, you drop something over the side, or maybe there's an issue with the audio or visual part of the media, no worries. All you have to do is just reach up, pull that cord, and I'll be back to assist you as soon as it's safe to do so. Uh, if you plan on taking pictures or videos today, that's totally fine. Just make sure you keep those cameras nice and protected. Uh, we do have some water effects here today on the tour. Uh, if you've got a selfie stick, just keep it inside the tram at all times. Last but not least, no smoking. That's pretty much it for safety. So right now, guys, looks like we can officially say goodbye to the theme park and hello to the studio as we start to make our way down our movie poster timeline area. So if you take a look off of either side of the tram here today, you're getting a nice selection of some of the thousands of movies we've created here at Universal Studios over the years. And speaking of years, we've been here for over 100 years. March 15, 1915. That's when we first opened the doors here to Universal Studios of Hollywood. Although, technically, our founder, Carl Wendley, he did start Universal on the East Coast in 1912. Slowly but surely brought everything out here to the West Coast. We have been out here ever since. So because we are our own city, we are a universal city, that means we're an entire city dedicated to filmmaking. Uh, but that also means we have our very own share substation here on the lot, so behave. Uh, we used to have our own complimentary mayor, we used to have our own gas station, we still have our own fire station. Coming up here over on the right hand side, you're seeing our fire station 51. Nice throwback to the television series, Emergency! Exclamation point. Or if you watch Chicago Fire, they also have fire station 51. So again, real fire station with hardworking firefighters there. Uh, something else that our city has that not a lot of other cities have, sound stages. In fact, our first sound stage is going to be coming up here over on the left hand side. You can see our sound stage 12. Uh, and normally I'd say it's currently home to the hit show, The Voice. But The Voice has actually moved a little further into our back lot area. However, if you are a big fan of The Voice, it still says The Voice on the side. So feel free if you want to snap a quick picture as we drive on by here today. More than welcome to do so. Uh, for the most recent season of The Voice, we had a new coach this time around. That was Ariana Grande. She joined Kelly Clarkson, John Legend, and Blake Shelton for their 21st season of that show. And then speaking of Kelly Clarkson, she also has her show, The Kelly Clarkson Show, which builds up here on our lot. Very special people is surprised with their lives. Welcome to Cloud Nine. Hi, everybody. All right, as we continue on here, coming up over on the right hand side, you all are about to see construction. Now, maybe you saw some of that construction a little earlier today. If you already joined us on the lower lot of the theme park, basically, we're expanding our theme park. Uh, that whole area is actually going to be. Super Nintendo World, opening in 2023. Uh, so no official word just yet what exactly we're getting out there, but we know it's going to be Super Nintendo themed. We know it's coming soon. And we know we've already started to sell some of the merchandise in the theme park for characters like Mario, Luigi, Princess Peach. Should give you a pretty big hint as to what is going on in that location. Now, uh, coming up here over on the left-hand side, you're seeing a few more of our sound stages here, including 16 and 17. Uh, these were being used by the show Superstore, then we had Saved by the Bell using these two sound stages, and then uh, very recently the show Hacks was doing some filming inside there, and Hacks, that's an HBO show. Even though we're here on the Universal Studios lot, it's totally fine. It works like a big rental facility out here. So other studios, they may rent out our sound stages, our sets, our props. We're renting from them, they're renting from us. Uh, the only time we're really competing is at the box office or during award season, but as long as they're doing well, hopefully, fingers crossed, we're doing well as well. Now, another show that's back here doing some filming on our lawn, Mr. Mayor, back for season two. That's the one that stars Ted Danson. And you might be thinking to yourself, wait a second, Katie, Ted Danson, wasn't he the star of another show that used to film out here on the lawn? Yeah, he was. He was one of the stars of the show, A Good Place. You, Eleanor Shutstrom, are dead. Cool. This location, the 
afterlife? Come on. I've never ever seen this. You're in the good place. I'm not supposed to be here. I can't risk going to the bad place. Okay, well, maybe it's not all that bad. Yeah, how can I help you? What is the bad place like? Well, it doesn't sound awesome. Well, they used to film out here in our lot. They filmed over on the right-hand side, over in 42 and 43. Uh, but that show had lasted for four seasons, so a lot of people just assumed, oh, must have gone canceled then, right? No, they actually wrote that show out in its completion for four seasons, so they were able to call their own ending for their show, which is actually pretty unique out here in Hollywood. Now, currently, we are driving through an area known as Seacomb Alley, which basically means we had a lot of Seacombs filmed out here over the years, including a lot of the shows you're seeing up on your screens there. They just all happen to fall under that NBC Universal or Peacock umbrella. And then over on the left hand side, yeah, some of you already seen him celebrity time today. That's right, we got Ted hanging out here on the lot with his little martini glass in hand, of course. Uh, Ted is probably celebrating the fact that it was pretty recently announced Ted will be starring in his own TV series. So we all have that to look forward to. Uh, and that little martini glass he's holding on to back there, it's actually a nice reference to a filming term, martini shot. So when you're on set, here's something called martini shot, you're going, yes. That means it is the last shot of the day, and then you get to go home and make yourself a martini if you're of age. So he's just hanging outside of our production bungalow area off to the left. Uh, this is where our pre-production, the planning process, takes place. In fact, coming up here, we've got Seven Bucks Productions. That is Dwayne The Rock Johnson's production bungalow here on our lot. Uh, we also have Brownstone Productions out here. That's Elizabeth Banks' production company. You may recognize her name from the Pitch Perfect franchise. Mark Platt has a bungalow out here. He was one of the executive producers on Dear Evan Hansen, and then he's also working on the upcoming Wicked production. And of course, we also have Bungalow 5195. That one used to belong to Mr. Alfred Hitchcock. He was the master of horror and suspense out here on our lot. Today, though, that area does belong to the De Laurentiis Company, so those are the folks who brought us all the show Hannibal. Now, if you continue to take a look over on the left-hand side here, we're seeing a couple of our newer sound stages. We've got 22 and 23. So these are being used for shows like World of Dance, America's Got Talent, Will and Grace, where they did the reboot for that show. And then very recently, Keenan has been doing a bunch of filming out here. That's the show that stars Keenan Thompson. In fact, the very first production ever to grace both of those sound stages, that would be Hairspray Live. So for that production, anytime it looked like they were filming inside of a building, they were filming inside those sound stages there. Anytime it looked like they were filming outside in a big city location, they were filming directly in front of us here, off to the left. Uh, so again, the show American Ninja Warrior, they've currently set up over on our New York Street, so you are going to get a chance to see kind of a very brief glance at some of their uh, their setups there. So for those of you who aren't familiar with the show, American Ninja Warrior, basically they set up this huge obstacle course all along our New York Street, and then those amazing athletes are out here, you know, competing against each other, trying to complete that said course. So, pretty neat. I know I'm a huge fan of the show. I would probably not make it past like the first obstacle though, though I'd go like right to the little water pit area. Uh, but again, you can see some of that set up there off to the left hand side. So pretty neat. Um, right now it looks like we're gonna go ahead and leave that concrete jungle behind and instead we're about to take you all to the literal jungle as we head on over to Skull Island with director Peter Jackson. The original thing called that, that made me want to direct movies and I saw that movie on TV when I was about eight or nine years old and I wanted to become a filmmaker. Action! I like films that just take you away from your real life and sweep you off an adventure. Kong literally does that. I mean, you're on board the ship, you're sailing to a lost island, you're encountering monsters and creatures from, you know, prehistoric times. So I was thrilled when Universal invited me back to Skull Island, and it's great to have you along for the ride. Now, we have created this 3D immersive experience, so you're going to have to have your glasses ready. Don't put them on yet, just give me a hand because we're about to return to Skull Island. We really put a lot of thought into the character and personality of Tom, and he's so much more than a monster. In fact, he's not a monster. You know, he is an incredibly majestic, ancient creature. He's a force of nature. He's old, he's wise, he's proud, he's fierce, and obviously he has a heart. 
The most important feature of Carnaroo dives is the foes, the T-Rexes and the various dinosaurs on Skull Island, so he's been beaten up, scarred, you know, chewed up, spat out by these dinosaurs at various times, and he, he wears the scars of a lot of ancient battles. Alright guys, so as we start to head out in, just make sure you're getting seated for your own safety. Head down to your loose commodities.